Hey guys, I'm back and we're gonna play some more of Realm of Thrones version 3.6 for Banner Lord 1.80 beta. Uh, the last episode we had just taken the town of Mir from Mir and uh, we made peace with them. So we're sitting here right now with two, just two thieves, the two towns of Mesa Fair and Mir. We're at war with the Iron Islands. We could go over there and just fight some of those guys or maybe try to take one of their clans if we wanted to. I think we probably have enough money to at least get one of them. Or we can try to get our two clans of thief. Neither one of these guys got a thief. What I think I'm going to do since this guy is of uh, a socioculture, maybe I'll give him the town of Miss Affair. Because it's kind of remote and secluded. He's the right uh, you know, culture to be able to take care of it. And then maybe I'll get try to get a castle to give to Jon Snow since he's Night's Watch. Uh, so if, you, if I give him a town over here in Essos, then it's going to probably rebel and just be a big problem. So I want to keep him keep him in, uh, you know, in castles unless I one day I ever get, night, you know, uh, what you call it, uh, Castle Black. Maybe I'll give him Castle Black, but that's going to be, he'll probably be long dead before I get up there. Because it looks like the route I'm going to take right now is I'm going to try to build my kingdom this way. And, and go to war with, you know, make my way into Essos, I mean Westeros right here. Either go Stormlands or go Dorne. Uh, maybe Dorne since it's, you know, they got new armors. I want to check them out. But uh, that's that's probably what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and do that. We're making a lot of money off two of our, off our, work, off our uh, caravans. That's for like 5K I'm making off two caravans right now. M uh, Mir's bringing a lot of tax revenue in. I'll be losing... I get thousand eleven hundred tax revenue from this affair, but I think I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go to our kingdom tab, our fiefs. Where's Miss Affair? Let's gift let's gift it to Solaris. Okay, I took my charm up a lot, and I leveled up. So here we go. Let's let, go ahead and let him out of our army too. Let's just let everybody out of our army for right now. Okay, I just let everybody go. Uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and... How much food do we have, by the way? Oh, we still got plenty. We still got plenty of food right now. Okay, I got me a perk point. What do I want to do with this perk point? We're doing really good on these skills down here at the bottom. I got my medicines up to 134 now. All this stuff is really good down here. I probably need to put something in. Maybe, uh... Actors would be good. Roguery. Let's go ahead and just do with this one in. Um, is this thing still leveling up? Let's go ahead and just put it in pole arm for now. I don't want that to, that to start going stagnant. And uh, I also want to buy me a workshop. I do got a workshop over there too. It's not doing good. So let's go ahead and just buy us a workshop here. Let's go ahead and just take a walk through our town. See what's up. See what's in there. Looks like we got a carpenter, a fur, and two fur guys. I'll take one of these fur things and buy it. Maybe make it into a brewery or something. Since there's two grain villages here, maybe. It seems like breweries are still. For me, they've been the way to go, for the most part. So now that I'm starting to own towns, it's probably a good idea to always just have my businesses, get rid of my businesses in other towns. Because if they get the clear warnings, we'll lose them at any time. I'd like to buy this workshop, 28k. Let's change it to a brewery. Okay, we are a proud owner of another workshop. Let's check it out. Okay, so this Miss Affair War Weaver, we need to change, find something that's going to work up there. I haven't been able to find anything that really, let's go ahead and just make our way over there. And I just want to see, scope the situation, and just figure out what would be the best workshop there. Since it's one of our towns, 
I really doubt the Iron Islands are going to... Probably a good idea to take this hideout out, dude. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that first. Let's take, let's take this... Let's take this hideout out. And give us a chance to get a little bit of bow skill. Right in between both our towns. It needs, it needs to go. I got only got two giants left. I don't even want to take any of them really. Let's let's uh let's take this some. Those are good infantry. Let's take this yeah. Let's take this store the house guard. You need a uh, reaver. Maybe a couple archers. Are we full? Where do all my people come from? They don't feel like 10. Oh, I got oh, these Magister Guards. I want to get rid of these guys. I don't want to take any associates in. What did we say? Where was we? Let's add a couple of these. Yeah, add that Reach guy. Got two more. Two Elite Huntress. Let's take this Cashly Rock. Oh, my wife's out there too. Where's our little Mormont girl? She's back here. Check her out. Pretty cool. I think these guys got bows. I don't mind not be able to take these out by myself. How did I miss that dude? Down. Got my athletics up to 131. Where are these guys at? This is one of them that takes forever to clear out. Is there anybody in here? No. Little bit of bow. We get us like there we go. Our bow's up to 69 now. Yeah, I'm playing with a uh, with a controller, so my I need to. I want to cut down the comp the left to right compensation, but then I won't be able to spin my character around quick. So my bows. Oh, here they come. So I want to be able to spin my character. I, I just have to give up on some of the uh, archery crap, losing some accuracy because this guy's got some big old swords. We're gonna wipe that about half the base already. I do like the way the combat skills are level up quicker in, in 1.8 for sure. Usually, I feel like I'm well ahead of where I would usually be at this point as far as combat skill. Hey, I thought this was a damn... Oh, do you just climb down from here? Is that all you do? Pretty much. Oh, there's a dude. Couple of them. So I just can't get locked on, man. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, I let the guy hit me. It's like they don't have no shields. We're getting close to having this thing cleared out. Where did that bear? I thought I saw. 
なかった Don't tell me I just walked up in there and there's nobody Yeah, I'm not familiar with this, okay Oh, there's, there's somebody Ah! Horrible shot. That can't be but like one more person. Come on. Is that him? Is that somebody? I thought there was usually somebody over here somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. 75! Yeah, got a perk point out of that. There we go. What's we gonna do, my friends? Oh, this guy's got a shield. Is that all you got? Come on, man. He's got a pretty big shield. That's pretty decent blocking for him. He's short. Oh, I was on the hill. Desert bandit boss. Sweet, we got seven influence for that. Alright, every time we oh, let's go ahead and do a little perk point now. We'll see what this bow 75 is. Quick adjustments. Decreases your bow accuracy loss due to rotating by 50%. Troops in your formation gain 5% accuracy with rapid fire. Increases your bow reload speed. I think that's better because nothing's going to help my accuracy. Troops in your formation have their bow. Oh, well, yeah. Rapid fire. Alright, let's go ahead and go ahead and save. Let's continue on to Miss Affair. See if we could get something going on here that's going to be some kind of workshop. Okay, so they got a sheep. So that's where I got the wool weaver. They do have a sheep village, and they got a fish village, and they have a salt village. And I don't even know. That's a weird collection for sure. Let's go ahead and go to a tavern. Let's get rid of these prisoners, get that thousand. Lord Varys is here. Let's go ahead and uh, take him into our party. He's a really good governor. Let's just see what kind of goods they actually have here in the shop. Makes sense. Fish, but really nothing uses fish. Uh, I need to buy these cheese for myself. I ain't got my four types of food. Cheese meat. But, yeah. Okay, wool, man, it seems like wool. Five on wool, it's the cheapest wool around. Uh, silver ore, maybe? There's not a lot of it. There's a lot of cheap stuff here, but not a huge enough supply. Except for wool and salt. What do you use salt for? Let's just look and see. Maybe since we're not at war. Okay, Miss Affair is getting 72. Oh, look, my brewery and mirror is already making money. I don't know if that's going to stay like that. But we'll... Honestly, if I go to Miss Affair and I change this wool rivery, you see tannery needs hides. This needs iron. This needs flax. That needs silk. That needs grape, hardwood, silver, clay. Uh, see, nothing needs salt. So I think we just got to leave that. Hope it starts doing better. Uh, we go back to our, let's see, we go back to our members, our three kids. We can still get one companion, and we got, so, uh, these caravans are doing great. Um, it'll probably be a while before I have a, a clan that's, a clan that's, uh, will, uh, be the ruler of a thief that has crown lands culture. So, uh, what I'm thinking about doing is, let's send out, what's his name? To do another caravan since they're just making so much money right, right now let's go ahead and just uh trade to see let's get him at least give him a weapon okay so i don't even know what let's look check out his skills first i probably gave him some kind of so lord Ferris is at 100 on trading 
And well, a crossbow or bow, so we'll give him a, one of those. Seems like a crossbow is probably a good weapon for a eunuch. Yeah, I just give him a simple crossbow. Give him some. Uh, so which one is this good? Why not? I'll give. Him, I'll just spend some money. Give him some heavy quarrels. He needs to have a one-handed weapon. Something to protect himself. I'll just give him just a regular spade and a little shield. And we need to change his. We can just, okay. He's got that as okay civilian gear. He still got that, so we can give him some kind of. What seems? Nah, that looks too. <laughs> too look, looks too much like a fray. What about when he's a little open bell? I still don't look like him, but yeah, that's just that's fine. A good decent middle level. He's got a twenty-two. So how much money I want to get something better than that? This leather armor. Put him some. Uh, yeah, I'm not spending a whole crap ton of. We need some more boots too. Horseman boots. That'll work. Okay, that's our Lord Varus. We spent seven thousand, and we're about to send him on his way. About to form a caravan in this time. Better troops. Lord Varus. Okay, so he's out there. Let's go ahead and save now. We still got room for one more companion. Oh, I forgot to see. Can I even make another party yet at Clan Tier 5? Um, let's see. I wouldn't even... I'm hardly ever Clan Tier. Usually I'm Clan Tier 4 a whole lot longer. But the parties... No. So I must have to, to be able to create another party. I must have to be all the way up to Clan Tier 6. But really, the way things is going, that might not be too long. Uh, what was our party size? I think it was like 300, wasn't it? 322 huge party size i think what we should do is just kind of let's just kind of just patrol our area for a little while i would like my wife to get pregnant one more time and see if she could okay this dude's out here okay he's out here at least getting his army filled up let's just walk around here patrol our little we're making really good money still even though we gave away a town i'd like to give solaris's clan time to, okay make peace with the iron islands let's see what they want I wish it would tell what the John Snow wants to make peace with the Iron Islands. Like the the question is, is how much are they? We're we trying to pay these guys. But yeah, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and make peace with them. We'll see. We'll see how much we're paying them. It sucks if we're paying them a lot of money, and I just didn't know it. Let's go on down Iron Islands. How much are we paying? Does it even say how much we're paying them? Paying seven seventy a day. That's insane. Why are we paying? I shouldn't have did. I, next time I see any kind of notifications go up, I'm going to check it. Because there's no reason we should be paying those guys 770 a day. They're on the other side of the world. Uh, no threat to us at all. If anything, it would give me just a way to go grind if I wanted to. But it is a, where they're at. and They're probably in the Westerlands. Rebels in Lorath has written up. That would be a good spot to go. But that's still a long way north. That's That would be something good to pounce on if I wanted to relocate my kingdom. But it just doesn't make sense for my invasion plan. So uh, let's, go, let's see what this little village landlord needs. I don't want to do that. that. That's one of them I think that pisses off somebody. He pisses off one town and one, one village and it makes the other village happy. So I don't... I, those aren't worth doing in my opinion escort a merchant caravan that's too long not very a kingly of a duty let's see how everything's going here now let's see let's go and manage the town okay our food's going up we got an orchard just about built okay our loyalty and our security as long as they're not going down our prosperity is going up if we can just get some more food here we'll be doing pretty good how much of a militia did I have? Only 79 militia. Oh, I forgot to set my this town too. So let's go ahead and go to Thieves Mirror. Oh, he goes to parties. You go to party. Then we'll go down to Garrison of the Mirror. We don't I don't want no auto recruitment on. 
I don't want unlimited wage. So our current wage is a th dang, it's a eleven hundred. You know what? I'll leave this set to. We'll set it to twelve hundred just so he they can keep who they got. But I don't want it to be no damn four thousand. You no, know, it turn into some crazy giant. Dang, six. It's like there's no reason to ever have six hundred thirty-one people there if you're, unless you're just storing people for some huge invasion. All right, let's check out our other village. Give our people a little bit of time to recover. Like I'm trying. Let's go back to six. Okay, our orchards is complete. That's good. Let's see what's going on over here at Tree of Crowns. This might be some place. This may be a John Snow art of the trade. Okay, there's, there's 335 here. I'm pretty confident we could take that easily. Let's check out their other village of uh, Al, I mean, their other castle of Alnor. That's a little bit further away, but not so far away. It's going to be ridiculous. Okay, that 429 here. So Tree of Crowns is definitely the easiest thing to hit. They have a bunch of Merc clans out there for them too, so we might have some interesting battles if we go to World well, Release. Check out our close. He's eight hundred. They're doing pretty good. Lease it and Lease isn't isn't weak right now. I think they got like a three K diplomacy. Let's go to the lease. Yeah, they got forty six hundred. This is right up there, holding their own. I mean, they don't have a lot of territory. But they're holding their own as far as they're stronger now than they were at the beginning of the game. And we're gonna our little village right there, Miriam. Let's check out. Iroch is real, and we could take this town, but just not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see if we call an army right now. Let's just see what what we can do. Okay, everybody's filled up pretty much. You know, my Jamie Lannister, he only has 136. If I filled my guy up to 300 and I took all these guys, we would be probably up over 1,000. Jon Snow's looking pretty good. Let's check out our parties too. Ja Jamie Lannister could have a huge party too. I just uh, want to make sure... That I don't have them blocked. Current wage seven seven. Okay, so he can still go up. Brienne can still go up. Theon can still go up. So everybody can go up. But I need to. We're gonna go to war with Lee's here in just a minute. But we need to get some troops. We're still making good money. Of course, the first place I go, there's gonna be literally no troops. I probably should have took my a lot of my garrison troops out of this affair. Cause I had an 84 or something like that. I had a, I had a good chunk, and they were mostly Westerosis too, I believe. So I should that's what I should have did. I should have took my troops out before I gave it to dude. But hopefully that helped him out, so he didn't have to devote his. Okay, there's a bunch of troops. Not really the ones I wanted, but troops are troops. Man, that's a bunch of troops. Yeah, let's go ahead and we're, we're going to uh, do this little tournament here. Why not? This is one of our little, we got to make a show for the people. So they, you know, so make our people love us. Got to make some public appearances. The king, you know, they're already skeptical. I got a, a Westerosi over here ruling the place. What's this little perk for? Trade zero zero. He's been a, on fire. Self-made man decreases barter barter penalty for items by fifty percent. Market place kiln and aqueduct products are built thirty percent faster. Sword for barter. Hiring mercenaries is twenty percent cheaper. Fifteen percent lower wage for caravan. Fifteen percent lower wage for caravan guards troops. So his oh decreased barter penalty by fifteen percent. God that fifty by fifty percent. So how much is the barter penalty? Like, that's what I'm cu curious, you know, how much is the barter penalty? Is is it significantly more or less money than 15% of the 
But there's only 30 troops there. So 15% of what we're paying them 30 troops isn't that much. I think decreased barter penalty is probably the best overall for a, for a caravan guy. So yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do this tournament. Oh, throwing weapons. Ooh, right in the head. I'm gonna hit my own dude in the head, bro. I'm right in the horse. Who's that little dude? Sam. Sam? Give me that throwing experience. Give me that throwing experience, bro. Oh, man. Come on. Where am I throwing it? Oh, dude, I'm gonna mess around with these throwing weapons and. Not dead. Oh, man, I need a spear. Where's the spear? Give me a horse. Alright, he's this horse got energy. We're good now. As soon as I said it, I missed it. Easy. There we go. At least I got that guy. You don't want no Western Lens guy. Oh! It's like he's invisible. The invisible man. All right, kill this horse. Man, took my kill. At last. Tiger cloak. I'm gonna get us a good Valentine tiger cloak. I don't. There's not really any good things to go by. Like as far as what it's supposed to look like, I mean, you could assume there should be a, some kind of tiger cloak, but as far as what other kind of armors, I mean, it's completely wide open. I mean, you could assume that since they have like elephants and crap like that, that it would be you know, more of a no. I would think something similar like India or. So you could probably just make a conclusion if you would use, you know, some kind of Asian type designs. Oh, 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 oh. I'll take on your king. Bow before your king. Yeah. Going up against my original Palantine guard. I'll tear your limbs. Oh, how did he get through my shorts? Oh, oh, he thinks he's got skills. I'm gonna trade that thing off. Oh, we gotta get a little. Okay, so here we go. We still got what over a hundred and something. We could buy let's buy these twenty-eight. Give me these five. Me these. Okay, that was a good little chunk of horses we just bought. Alright. Okay, let's head up these villages. We're gonna make our way back toward Mir. And we're gonna call us an army and try to at least get some kind of action going. I mean they may put up a big defense. That's what I'm saying. This might not work out. Quite the, they are more than twice our power right now and they got the what I could do is go steal a Merc clan from them go find one of the Merc clan leaders and uh that may be actually a good idea take one of the Merc clans and then declare war and then we'll have extra because money we're not really we're getting to the point in the game now that we got the town of Mir which was super successful that our tax revenue is pretty significant now yeah, like we're making 8k a day. If I didn't want to get John Snow a castle, what I would do is haul tail over to haul tail over to Westeros and get, you know, try to get some of those other Ironborn clans to join or some somebody. Let's see how our town's doing now. Okay. Oh yeah, we're getting food up now. Oh, we're not working on anything. So we need uh. Orchards to keep going up. 
then maybe we'll do uh okay this is this town is looking good then we'll do yeah let's do that 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 all everything else is maxed out yeah this is this was a good 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 get down a mirror I do need to put let's see what the I do need to put find an associate governor though I hate to waste my own slot right there okay we'll hit our villages up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let's just see if we can catch one of these let's make sure they still got these guys too let's at least They got the Golden Company, the Wild Hares, the Brave Companions. Okay, so they got three of them. So we're looking for Harry Strickland, Benford Tallhart. I forgot what the other one was. Look at John Snow out there rolling deep, 173 deep. Great get. Worth every penny of the 450k I had to pay for him. Benford Tallhart, the Wires. Okay, here we go. He's a Northman. He should want to join me anyway. Something I'd like to discuss. I'd like you to enter us. That sounds fair. Okay, we got the wild hairs now. Okay. We could try to get another one, but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and call our army. Everybody, come on, everybody, all my friends, join the party. We'll go ahead and go back to Mir and get some food. Here goes my boy John Snow. We're gonna hit them and hit them hard and see what they got. See what they can throw together. We're already a thousand deep. We still got a bunch of people coming. We're gonna need some more food since we're probably gonna be feeding all these guys. Yeah. Fortunately, there's not a. We probably should take about six or seven hundred. I think six hundred is probably good. And from here, let's. Okay, yeah. Boom. It's fun when you start being able to have an army this deep. Let's go ahead and level up our troops while we're, while we're in here, what we can. Start from the bottom. We're going to be doing a lot of, uh, oh, what did I do? Cancel, cancel. I think I accidentally gave away some of my troops. Okay. Bomb team footman. We're going to take them up to Bowman. I got 52 recruits, so we're going to do no Bravo seat. Let's do two, three, four, five, six of those. Seven of those, and maybe two of these. You can always go Valentine. They got the best archers, and I just I just like them better. Let's see, as long as we got as long as we don't got no real low low level crew. guys, we're fine. So the archers need to go up. Actually, we rock soldiers. Get take this guy. So. That about it. See anything? Baratheon soldiers. That was a good little upgrade. Got some Westerlands recruits. We'll go Castle Rock. I like the Castle Rock ones. The Lannister Longbowmen are good too. Stormland Squires. They're going to take some of my horses. One little dragon strong recruit. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got enough. Let's go ahead and save right now. And uh, let's declare war. We're not going to go 
raiding those villages. We're just going straight up just declare war on them. I think they're at war, too, with somebody like Dorn or somebody. So they may even be... Let's see, at least... Oh, they're at war with no one right now. Now that they and all their oh, this is perfect. All their merc clans are gone too. We're let's declare yeah, we're declaring war. We are now at war with Lease. And we're gonna haul tail. I don't believe they got let's see. We got three hundred. We got three hundred defenders right now at meter, so I'm don't think they could take that. We're, yeah, we are straight up 1,500. We're going to ravage these guys. Sixteen hundred. Excellent. Seize the castle. Probably best to just go ahead and, uh, yeah, do my trebuchets. We got the time. I don't, like, if, I, if they, if they in any shape or form put up any kind of Defense in the field, I'll be shot. And we'll give this castle to Jon Snow, that way he'll be pretty close to. Hold on. Hold on, pause it. And this all helps my engineering skill, too. Yeah, they're moving, they're building pretty fast for a trebuchet. That's pretty damn fast. By the time this one gets halfway built, we'll go ahead and get the other ones out there and have this this show on the road. Uh, it's all over for this little. It's all over for all those ballistas, <coughs> all that crap. Do I still got my bow? I still got my bow equipped. My bow. Not that it's gonna do me any good, but. Maybe I'll get a couple shots in. He's got some strong walls. It's taking a little minute. This ain't. But these walls ain't just tumbling down. Let's go ahead and resist. We got plenty of influence. Yeah, this would be a good home for John. Like I was saying, this would be a good home for John Snow. He'll be able to see his home continent. I don't see any of my stuff getting besieged yet. I still see some stuff getting raided. We got one wall cracked. Did they actually destroy all my... These jokers actually destroyed all my ballistas. I can't believe it. That's the first... I mean, all my trebuchets. I can't believe it. Like, I've never seen... They got... Yeah. They must have some pretty good perks. Or, uh, yeah, perks on this castle. Because usually, I mean, if I got four trebuchets out there, there's no chance that any of them is usually going to get destroyed. See what three of them could do, and we'll continue building this next one. Just got one more wall to break down. Yeah, they got some they got some armies out there, but nothing to be really scared of right now. When they lost all those Merc clans, unless they called them back. Okay, we're working on that wall now. They're down to 262. Oh shit, yeah, we're starving these guys. They're they're uh garrison's going down by the you know every day. Now they're down to 230 now. We'll, we'll wait the daytime. Alright. Go ahead and wait to uh, let's go ahead and stop this thing. Daytime, sweet. Let's go ahead and make a save. And let's go ahead and lead this salt. Let's uh, let's get our let's get our man him a get him a uh, little castle that's somewhere down where it's warm. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, some nice little grass growing here. I don't remember. This looks like the Azari, Azari Castle, but dang, I ain't never remember seeing so much grass, but that's cool. 
It actually looks like this is a fitting setting for where we're at on the map. The disputed lands, this looks like a good little where just where one of the times where the scenery actually matches what you know what it's supposed to look like. Okay, everybody charge. We just need to We just need to get in these walls. We'll follow this line of guys. Oh yeah, look at this. This is what you call an army. Oh, there's my couple giants. Yeah, I don't even really have to do anything. We've already overran this place. Bow before your king. There's some there's some red going on. Somebody's getting somebody's getting fought with. All right, fine. I was able to get out in front. Is that their spawn point? Just get a few people. And I missed that. Okay, there's a little bit more of a battle over here going on. I can't go up. Out here, man, y'all ain't got no chance. We gonna have a oh, there are there key battles on castles. Oh, this thing's over. Beautiful, beautiful. Where's the dude at? Oh, he's up on top. Oh, he's ah, oh. dang! You see all the arrows? That was crazy. All right, sweet. And nobody died. Look at them prisoners. Okay, we're gonna show mercy, and we're gonna go ahead without. We're, we're just gonna wait here for a second until we have a chance to. Uh... Oh, I just pissed off the wild hairs because I didn't let him pillage. Let's just wait here for a second and until we get a chance to give this thing to John. Okay, there we go. You owner a tree of crowns, John Snow, my friend. Tago wanted it. And he is a greedy bastard. John Snow's getting that, man. There you go. Okay, well these video this this I think this is a good stopping point. We're still at war with Bleece, but we're in real good shape. We're going to save right here. We'll be back soon to play another episode of this. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.